broken. You get to choose, my friends. You can either live in scarcity or abundance. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to live in abundance in the digital marketplace and grow your business. When I talk about scarcity in terms of your business as an insurance professional, whether you're working for a carrier or for an agency, what I'm really talking about is the belief that somehow the marketplace we operate in is a zero sum game. It's believing that if, if you don't have it, someone else does and you can't get it. It's, it's thinking that you can build walls around your business that, that are impregnable. It's a protectionist, isolationist mentality. It's being intentionally absent from the marketplace in an effort to protect your kingdom. It's being intentionally naive to a situation to protect your kingdom and protect yourself. You believe that the world has scarcity and that the digital marketplace has scarcity and if you don't participate in it, you somehow will not be impacted by the ebbs and flows of that marketplace. All right, it's windy and cold. This is my brother-in-law, Ryan. You can see that's how cold it is right there. Uh, but we are in one of the most beautiful places in the Albany area. I'm gonna give you a quick shot of it. If you can see. In every aspect of my career in which I've won, it's because I've operated from a mindset of abundance. And truthfully, for, for most of my career, I didn't even really know what that meant. I was doing it unintentionally. Abundance and an abundance mentality is understanding that the world is plentiful. The world provides, and in particular in a digital world, there is ample supply. And losing a customer means that you can gain three back if you're doing the right things. And that you can't control whether you lose a customer or not. So to fear losing a customer doesn't do your business any good. What you need to do is focus on how you add value to the type of customer that you wanna work with. And for every one that you lose, you'll gain many more who want, to, want the value that you provide. So what does it mean to operate your business with an abundance mindset? It means do things that don't scale. It means give without expectation of reciprocation. How can you ever expect someone to give you value, give you trust, give you respect if you don't give those things first? If you are so fear-based, if you're so caught up in, in the mentality that the world is built on limited resources, then you're never willing to just give without expectation of reciprocation. You're never willing to do that thing that no one else does. You're so scared of standing out, of being different. We talked about authenticity in the last episode. You're so scared of being authentic because someone might not like you that you never actually connect. You never actually build that bridge. You don't, and, and this is the only way to succeed today. There's so much availability in the marketplace. Digital has opened up the entire world. You can sell insurance from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. And if you operate from a scarcity mindset, you will be destroyed, you'll be dashed across those rocks. Where if you operate from a mindset of abundance, if you, if you give and give and give and give and never expect anything back, what you'll find is, what you'll find is, the people who appreciate that mentality, the people who connect with you and who you are and what you do, they will find you. Do things that don't scale. What does that look like? That means when someone calls you and you know immediately that you can't help them with whatever insurance they're looking for, spend some extra time on the phone with them. Try to be a resource to them even if you can't actually sell them something. You know what you'll find? 
When they do have a need that you can serve, they'll come back to you. Do you know how rare it is to talk to a professional about something when they can't sell you something? And maybe you're saying, Ryan, I'm busy, I don't have time for these people. But you don't know who that, who that person's father, mother, sister, brother is. You don't know who their kids are. You don't know who their friends are. Maybe they go back to their country club and they tell all their friends, you know, I talked to this woman the other day, she owns an agency, she couldn't help me with my particular problem, but man, if I could work with her, I would in a heartbeat. And now all that guy's friends are calling you because you took the time with them. You did the thing that didn't scale. You knew if you were operating from a scarcity mindset, you would have told them, hey, I can't help you and hung up the phone. But because you operate from an abundance mindset, you spent time with him. You answered his questions. You helped him better understand the insurance coverages that he was going to have to find from someone else. And those few extra minutes on the phone, you do that over and over and over again, that comes back to you in spades in spades, that's an abundance mentality. There's no ROI on an abundance mentality. You have to believe, and those that do, win. <music> Tactic number two, how about you just reach out for no reason? That means you have a customer or a friend or a client, just reach out to them for no reason. Not because it's their renewal, not because you're doing some touch point in a drip marketing campaign. Not because thank you cards are in vogue as a, as a retro way of communicating people. Yeah. You just reach out because you care. Hey, what's going on? How can I help you? What's going on in your life? Who do you know? You going to this event? You playing golf? What's happening? How are your kids doing? Little touches. Again, you might only be able to make it through 3% of your client base an entire year if you're just randomly reaching out like this. But those little touches go so far and maybe be the connector in that point. So, oh, you know what, Ryan, I really need to find a plumber. And maybe that person says, you know, geez, I've, you know, I'm dealing with this stupid plumbing issue today. I can't get someone to show up. And then you connect them with someone else. Hey, I got a plumber for you. He'll show up today if I make the call. Do you want me to do that for you? And whether they say yes or not doesn't matter. And you got nothing out of it. You didn't make any money. You took 20 minutes out of your time to solve someone's problem randomly in the day. Do you know that's an abundance mindset? There's so much value there. That person will never forget that you did that for them and it took 15, 20 minutes out of your day. And you do this with two, 3% of your client base. You're never gonna be able to do it with everybody and that's okay. You don't have to scale this. These are things that don't scale. That's the power in them. That client knows that this doesn't scale, but you chose them and they'll never forget that. All right, number three, our final tactic in, in understanding an abundance mentality, things you can actually do, show up. Show up for things. It's, it, just show up for things. Just show up. Show up for the event. Show up for the birthday party. Show up for the opening. Whatever it is, show up for the, the gala that you don't really wanna go to, right? Show up. Show up. Just show up. Just show up. Just be there. There is so much power in the human connection and physically being in that space with them. And I'm not perfect at this at all. Uh, I wish that I was much better at this. But when you show up, it shows commitment, it shows dedication, it shows trust, respect, it shows that you give a shit. Show up because not everyone will, but you did and that means something. hope that you live with abundance mentality. I do, it helps me wake up every day, it makes me feel good about what I do. I wish for nothing more than you wake up every day with an abundance mentality. It will change your life, it'll change your business, it'll change your relationships, and it's so incredibly powerful. In the wide open digital marketplace that we work in today, if you're not operating from an abundance mentality, you're gonna lose. Don't operate in fear, operate in love. Peace. Thank you.